Starter hit the lever, runner's dispatch from the 1800. Mr. O'Neill is one of the trailers early on, but slots into that inside rail. Four of them across the track, and it's Water Poet, Banner Hill, Warfare is right there, Night Shadow, Sun on Africa is towards the outside with the black cap, then comes Dress for Success, Great Rumpus is in the blue with the black cap, and Captain Splendid is second to last. Mr. O'Neill, your favourite's the trailer, and tracing about 10, 11 lengths off the leader. What a poet's going along at a solid pace, leads it. In second position now, running up on the outside is Sun on Africa. Warfare is back third. Banner Hills fourth, the red sleeves and cap, then Night Shadow. Then there's a gap of four lengths to dress for success, followed by Great Rumpus and Captain Splendid. And Mr. O'Neill's the trailer, and Mr. O'Neill's racing 14, 15 lengths off the leader. What a poet's the leader. Sun on Africa races second. Warfare and Banner Hill. They are followed further back by Night Shadow. Three lengths dress for success. Another three great rumpers. Mr. O'Neill's now getting the wake up call. Still got a dozen lengths to make up. Then Captain Splendid. Have they gone too fast as they turn into the home stretch? What a poet. Banner Hill moves quickly now on the outside. In towards the outside. Night Shadow. Sun on Africa. Warfare. Mr. O'Neill's under pressure. Got seven or eight to go. And what a poet now. Banner Hill comes into the lead. Banner Hill hit the front. Down the inside. Warfare. Then Night Shadow past the 200 meter marker though. And Banner Hill still goes. And it's Banner Hill who's going to win it. Banner Hill will win it. The second position is going to get close. Banner Hill won it. The second placing perhaps will go to Night Shadow, then Warfare, and Mr. O'Neill ran fourth. They certainly weren't sticking around, and Banner Hill then took the lead at the top of the stretch and the Tiger Hill comes good for Glenn Carson and this is win number six from 14. Banner Hill wins it by about three. Second position, I thought number four might get second place. That is Night Shadow from Warfarer. Mr. O'Neill had many lengths to make up and stays on for that fourth position, then dress for success. And then it's a good couple of lengths back to the long-time leader, What a Poet, followed by Captain Splendid. So here's Banner Hill, bred by Main Chance Farms, and took the lead shortly after they turned into the home stretch. Warfare and Night Shadow involved for second and third. And then your toad favourite, number eight, Mr. O'Neill. The winner, number one, Banner Hill, pays 9, 10, and 3 rand until the running of race number five, the Umzum Kuli Stakes, grade three, back to the studio. Number one is Banner Hill, the son of Tiger Hill. Good luck to all the connections has come through to win a good contest out here. And we caught you during the week. We had a chat to you for the stable and you mentioned nice to have the bombs back in town. Yeah, look, like I was saying to you, this was to give me the good work at home and then I tried to do what Glenn said because he said I must help him to give him short sharp. I was a little bit worried with the 1800, you know, but when the pace was fast and then I know this was his going to be suitable. He liked the fast pacer. Well done to you and the team. You now got the bombs in town so you can step out the winners. Your runners coming up. You had a chat to us for understarters orders. They're still doing well? Yeah, no, still uh, doing good. Uh, my next race, I got my fairly the final judgment. You always give me a good work at home, you know. And uh, I hope to do the same at the race. Well done. Thank you very much. I'd like to shout out to all the connection for this horse. Good luck. And uh, to Glenn Kutzen, to Kathy, uh, to Richard Forey, you know. Thank you. Super. Thanks very much. Let's get Richard Ferry. Nice to have Richard back in town, jumping back aboard Banner Hill. You've come to the course today and you've gotten into the winner's enclosure. Yes, uh, you know, he's fond, this horse. Uh, he runs his heart out and, you know, I just want to say well done to Lunga. Um, he's, this horse looked from, from remarkable today and, you know, he's been on a long break. I thought, you know, he might be a bit fat still coming here, but when I saw him in a parading, he looked scopy and he looked, he looked ready for, for action today. Just before they started to turn for home, you could see you were travelling up? Yes, well, you know, let's go two clicks further back down, down the back. Um, at about the 14, I thought the pace was really hot. 
um, you know, and I was, I was, I was sitting up fourth, and I thought, geez, you know, we're stretching a bit, and um, I was a bit concerned that it might be going too fast, you know, obviously having a layoff, but uh, you know, this just, just shows you, he likes it fast, he likes it slow, you know, whichever way it goes, he wants to go, so um, just a lovely horse, and I uh, just want to say well done to the winning connections, and then also to my family, they travelled all the way from Joburg with me, my little little daughter here, my missus in the background, uh, thank you for their support and then obviously I just want to say well done to my sponsors at Rocket Scene and also just apologise that I'm bringing my caps today, so uh, well done to everyone all around. Well done Richard. Thank you. Richard Faree bringing home number one Banner Hill from the Glen Cotson stable, well done to the entire team, he's come through and he's won a good contest.